Game started. Quick pawn. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's try e4 here, I guess. Let's see what did I? I did just play e4. Well, anyway, <clears throat> we'll get a different game because the uh, last time was an Italian game. This time it's a Sicilian. Okay, a hyper hyper accelerated dragon. I think I can just play um, d4 here and try and go into a Maroxy bind setup. d4 and uh, c4. So this is the Maroxy bind. It keeps uh, black from getting on this um, d5 move in one in one tempo in one move. <clears throat> so he's probably going to play d6 at some point to develop his light squared bishop. Um, I'm going to shore up the center. Let's think about this. He can play knight to... Uh, he can play knight to... Oh, no, he can't play knight to um, g5 just yet. It's covered by the queen. Knight to g4, rather. And um, I'm just going to solidly defend this pawn and play bishop to e2 and then castle. Ah, so he's doing something different. He's not going d6, he's going e6. So maybe he's going to play um, d5 and try and break out of this uh, Maroxy bind. So after d5, pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, pawn takes. Yeah, I'm still keeping an extra pawn there in the center. Might be kind of a weak pawn, but it's, uh, it is a pawn. So I've maintained a clamp on uh, a clamp on d5, which is the idea of the Maroxy bind. Keep keep control of that square. Give yourself a little more space. Keep the pieces on. He plays it anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's not maybe a, maybe not a bad move. Um. Mm -hmm. I, am, I, I counted wrong. He's got the queen defending that pawn. Okay, so he just gets that move in. Um, let's see, I take, he takes, I take, he takes. I don't have any great move there. Let's see, is my knight... My knight's securely defended, right? So if he takes and I take... <clears throat> maybe I can push on with um, e5. That looks like an interesting move. And then defend it with uh, f4. Let's see how he reacts to that anyway. When this knight moves, this pawn will be under fire, but like I said, I can defend it with f4. And also, I'm threatening to take the d pawn. So he defends his d pawn, um, and that knight is looking at this um, c4 square, which is interesting. Let's go ahead and castle here, though. I want to <clears throat> get my king out of trouble <laughs> before it starts. <laughs> now, what do I want to do? Take the knight. Probably takes. Yeah, he takes back with the pawn. It gives him this pawn duo here. Um, this knight is a bit loose, so maybe queen to um, queen to b3 is an interesting idea because then I can threaten to take this knight here and win this knight. And let's see if he takes my knight. I take back if he plays knight here. Maybe I go queen. If he plays knight a5, maybe I go queen a4 to her. No, I can't go there. I guess I have to retreat if he plays. <clears throat> if he plays knight a5, I guess. I move my queen back. I'm also looking at this pawn, too. But it's defended twice and attacked twice. Maybe bring a rip to the center is my next plan. Rick's on the C file and D file look logical in this situation. I mean, this is an isolated pawn. It's passed at the moment, so I have to be careful about it. 
it's a past pawn. But it is isolated, and I maybe it rook here and start to put some pressure on it. Yeah, he goes immediately for that move. That's that's not bad. So if I go queen a3, hitting the knight, uh, he probably just plays his knight into c. His knight into c4. Okay, so I'm just going to drop back here. And now he's hitting the bishop. And I don't want to trade that bishop off just yet. Or take here and un unisolate that pawn. So the question is, can I get away with a move like bishop f2? And then uh, I'm going to play a b3 next to chase that knight away from that good square. b3, knight a3, queen b2, knight has to go back to uh, somewhere. Okay, so he develops his bishop and defends that pawn. I get in the b3 move. So I, I don't know, uh, yeah, I think he just has to go back where he came from. And um, <clears throat> let's start... Uh, Adding some potential pressure to that uh, deep on here. Let's uh, unpin. I don't want that knight to be pinned. And the queen is looking at this loose knight here on um, the loose knight on a5. So he retreats immediately. Okay, so let's. Um, Put the rook on the c-file. So I think I've got pretty good development here. He can take the knight. Um, if he doesn't take the knight, I can move the knight away and just... Uh... No, I'm, I'm still not winning that pawn. He's got three defenders on it. Okay, so let's think of some plan. <clears throat> well, actually, um, if I move the knight, can he push the pawn forward? I take, knight takes... Queen takes, but yeah, no, that's well protected. So I can move the knight away. And then I'm threatening to take his knight and then grab the pawn. So let's play that way. He's got uh, three defenders and I've got three attackers, but after bishop takes, queen takes, knight takes, well, he can pin that knight with the rook. Um, but I can unpin quickly because I have the rep defending it. Okay, so he didn't do anything about that. He, he's relocating this bishop to a more active square. Not a bad idea. So bishop takes, queen takes, uh, and knight takes, and then he pins the knight. Um, but, the, um, but the queen can move to the side. And, uh, and my rook is adequately defended, and the knight's defended. So that should be okay. Ah, queen takes with check, though. Let's move my king to the side. <laughs> so that wouldn't have worked, because the queen took back with check, and that would have given him an extra move. So now I'm threatening to take the knight. And he's pinning my knight, yeah. Interesting play here. Okay, let us unpin once again. Renewing that threat. Okay, so he's uh, undefended his knight. So let's take that. <laughs> I was planning to take that knight anyway. Even better when it's not defended. And, uh, okay, he can win the exchange. So, uh, here, let's not, um, <clears throat> let's not pin that knight. Pin the queen, rather. Or, or pin the knight against the queen. Yeah, pin the knight is the right word. Uh, 
And there we go. So it's two pieces for a rook. Uh, so I should be better. The, that guy won two pieces for a rook. Can he push this pawn forward now? I don't think so. Um, because the bishop and the knight are controlling that square. Okay, he's uh, rerouting his knight. He's putting pressure on my knight. Where do I want to go? <clears throat> I guess I don't mind a trade of uh, rooks here. But um, I'm not in a hurry to trade either. Right? I'm, I'm in good shape. Let's put this knight on a good square. Maybe he's trying to trap my bishop. Knight here. Hitting my bishop. Bishop here. He can play the pawn here. So let's take this knight. Um, yeah, I'll take his bishop, rather. <clears throat> he takes my bishop. I retreat. He takes my knight. I retreat the bishop. And I've managed to get out of trouble, it looks like. And now, now let's try and reroute this knight to a better square. I'd like to get to uh, this square here. It doesn't seem too easy. <clears throat> Maybe like this, knight to e2 to um, d4. Knight on d4 is looking at the uh, pawn on e3, so it's uh, good. And also, let's uh, get rid of the pressure on the c-file. <clears throat> okay, so knight to um, e4. He can invade with the rook to um, the square. I can chase it away with the bishop. Have to be careful about my back, my back rank. Yeah. So let's um, give the king an escape square so I can get off the back rank in case he doubles on the um, c file here. Threatens to, you know, fork my queen and my king. Then um, king h2, bishop to um, <clears throat> bishop to g4. There, looking at the. Um, E6 pawn. Yeah, he's got he's got a good square for his knight. Okay, but let's get the king off the back rack. And now uh, let's see. There he's pushing that pawn forward. Okay. Um, can I get some pressure on his knight? He's got the um, the e pawn adequately defended, so bishop to <clears throat> g4 doesn't uh, really threaten too much. Taking a look at the b pawn here. Also keeping an eye on the um, the e4 square. Okay, hopped in there. Okay, let's attack that knight. Defend the bishop. Keep the bishop defended and attack the knight. <clears throat> now there's an idea, bishop to uh, g4 once again.
and uh, oh, he can defend it with this king. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, I, I can do this. Just wins the uh, e6 pawn. His knight or his rook. His rook cannot come back to defend that pawn. So let's grab Check. with the bishop. <clears throat> get another pawn here unless my pieces are getting skewered but um, the knight is defended black resigns okay cool well I won a game uh, let's uh, I'll upload this into a postmortem see you guys later bye